Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today we're gonna to be talking about slow motion, what can be done in After Effects and what needs special equipment. The reason for this tutorial is twofold, because there is a lot that can be done in After Effects and you can create some good looking slow motion. Um, you just have to be careful about your subject matter, how you film it, and and what part you're slowing down and the second reason is because is I got a brand new camera that does slow motion and I wanted to play around with it in fact this camera is something that we're using in a new YouTube channel that I've just started up with a buddy of mine it's actually this guy right here in the video that's jumping his name is Brian and we started a channel called gun feed um, really fun we're taking a shotgun and we're exploding food and other items um, that's just what we're starting with we're gonna add more videos and more things uh, as time go on, but we're, we're using the high-speed camera to be able to slow it down so we can see all of the little particles and bits of food flying through the air, and it's really cool. So definitely go check it out and definitely go subscribe. There's a link in the description where you can just click on this annotation. So let's talk about slow motion in After Effects. So what I did is I shot two different pieces of video. One shot using the slow motion in the camera, which is the one you're seeing here. This is at 240 frames a second. And then I shot another one at 24 frames a second. We're gonna slow it down to the same speed. So we're gonna slow it down uh, by 10%. I'm gonna show you what works with slow motion in After Effects and what doesn't work. Now, first off, I did a couple of things here. Let me actually bring in the other, the other uh, video. So here is at normal speed. You can see he jumps and he's down. So let's just start with the jump right about there. Okay, so that's about all we need right there. So you'll notice here what I have, because you gotta be careful about how you film something if you're going to be bringing, doing slow motion with it in After Effects. Um, you notice I have them on a flat white background. Um, if there's lots of different patterns and contrast and things like that, it's going to be harder and more difficult. You need something that's a relatively flat, um, high contrast. It's very white and he stands out on the wall very easily and that's going to be easier to slow it down. Another thing that I did is I changed the shutter speed on the camera. So this is shot at 24 frames a second and usually the shutter speed would be 1 over 50 or 1 over 60 or something like that of a second. Um, but I switched it to 1 over 500th of a second. And that's because I was wanting to bring it to 240 frames a second in After Effects. And you want your shutter speed to be roughly um, half the speed of your frame rate. So I made the shutter speed a lot faster. And you can see there's no motion blur. Now, when I slow this down, I'm going to show you parts that work and parts that don't work. So first thing we need to do is highlight the layer. We're going to slow down. Go to Layer, Time, Time Stretch and how the time stretch in After Effects work, even though I'm gonna slow it down to one-tenth the speed, I'm not gonna put in 10 there, that actually stretches it the other way, it speeds it up, so I need to put in 1,000. Click OK, and then as we play through this, you can see every 10 frames he's going to move. That's because we don't have um, frame blending turned on. And so to turn that on, there's a couple of ways, but let me just show you in the menu. We go up to Layer, Frame Blending, and there's Off, frame mix and pixel motion. So if we turn on frame mix, you can see right here it turned on over down in the timeline and it turned it on up here. So what frame mix does is it's, you can see it's just fading slowly from one frame to the other. And that, you know, kind of looks like slow motion you'd see on a, on a cheesy Disney movie or something like that. Um, and then there's pixel interpolation. And so you can switch to that by going up to layer, frame blending, pixel motion, or if I just hit this button here again, um, down in the timeline, it switches it to a different um, icon, and that's now pixel motion. See, we go up here to the frame blending and it switched automatically. And what pixel motion does is it it redraws the frames basically. You can see it's creating new pixels in between and right here it's looking really kind of wonky and you can see the arms are doing weird things. Um, but it's not really f um, blending, you know, frame blending, fading from one to the other. It's trying to redraw and recreate pixels. And for, the, for a lot of things this is looking kind of weird but you'll notice here, let's find a spot where, okay right about here 
as he's starting to um, fall down. right here you can see it's actually looking pretty decent about right there all the way till let's see there yeah you can see his hands starting to do weird things again so even though he was moving fast because he was falling down the general shape of his body was the same shape see at the beginning you can see his arms were moving a lot faster than his body. His, the whole shape of the body was changing, and that's why you got weird arm movements going on. So how can we use this in After Effects to make it kind of a believable um, a slow motion? Let's actually put this into a, its own composition, and we'll do more like a speed ramp. I think that's a better example where we have it going fast motion, and then maybe right here we can change the speed. So... Um, let's go to layer, time, and instead of time stretch, we're going to do enable time remapping. And then I'm going to add a keyframe right where that is. And I want to maybe bring it down to about right there, add a keyframe. And then what I'm going to do is, because I want this to play at the same speed afterwards, is I need to grab both these keyframes, and I'm just going to stretch them apart. And I need to grab both of them because I need the relationship between that keyframe and the last keyframe to stay the same. Okay. So there's, it slowed down, but again, we don't have frame blending turned on. So let's turn that back on. Turn it on down here as well. And let's take a look at this. Okay, so there we go. We have a nice little time ramp. And it doesn't look bad. It looks like pretty good slow motion. It almost looks like I shot it with a high-speed camera. And um, so that just goes to show you can do slow motion in After Effects. You don't necessarily need a high-speed camera. Um, but there's some things that you just can't do. You know, like the wild flapping arms, of course, you're going to need to have a high-speed camera. You can't recreate that in After Effects. But you can see here just um, as he was falling down, the general shape of the body was the same, and it ended up looking uh, pretty good for slow motion. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment below. I know someone's going to ask about Twixter. Um, personally, I haven't found a lot of differences between Twixter and the built-in pixel motion blur, or not pixel motion blur, but the, the pixel motion um, for slow motion and frame blending. It, to me, it ends up being about the same. You have just as many problems with Twixter as you do with the uh, pixel interpolation inside of After Effects. Um, so that's that. And then another thing, if you want to know what camera I got, it's the Sony RX100 Mark IV. And it does really cool slow motion. It'll go up to 960 frames per second. It's at re reduced resolution, so it's not going to look as good. But that's still really, really slow. And if you want to see some stuff that we've shot with it, head over over again, uh, like I said, to GunFeed. Um, there's a link in the description. And then also, you can click on the annotation. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.